Hey everyone, Eggman here with a, another video. And today we have an overview of Cooler in the first set of the Dragon Ball Super card game Fusion World. He's one of my favorite leaders in this set as it is. And I think he is very strong, especially into green if you're able to see the pieces that you need. And we're gonna go over the deck list real quick and then have an example game at the end. And if you guys are new to the channel, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm making a lot of Fusion World content as well as doing a lot of live streams here on YouTube as well as on Twitch. And Cooler's definitely one in my regular rotation for it. So uh, I do appreciate all the support for it as well. And let's jump on into it. So in the show, Cooler is a brother of Frieza, which makes sense in this card games because this leader is pretty similar to Frieza. I think the biggest difference between the two is that I think Cooler is a little bit less consistent, but he has kind of a higher end uh, if you're able to find all your pieces. And then Frieza's a little bit more consistent, but he doesn't have as much of a aggressive edge that Cooler has, especially since with the awaken side ability of Cooler, you can offensively untap your own card at the cost of discarding a card and that's pretty good uh, especially with the four drop frieza and cooler in this deck too so i think that's really strong for you uh, he is a crit lead which i actually like most of them that exist in this game i do kind of wish that he was a draw one simply because we do want additional cards to be able to discard from our backside effect so i generally try to awaken as soon as possible but uh, i don't think it's as big of a deterrent for him to just not be good it just does help uh, you know hurt the consistency a little bit because you do need to find some specific pieces jumping on into it so uh, this is the leader. I think he's good. I honestly don't know which leader is better uh, if I had to be objective about it. Cooler or Frieza. They're very similar and just kind of differ based on kind of personal play styles as well. So uh, going through it, uh, we have kind of like a Ginyu package for it, which personally I was not on board with for the first couple weeks of this game. But I ended up testing it and I ended up saying, you know what, this is really good. It's very strong and there's a reason that people were playing it. Uh, so kind of what you want for the kind of first couple turns is uh, you want to find a one drop, either Sorbet or Zarbon. And if we go second, sometimes I like to play Frieza and then just attack into their body uh, that they played out. Uh, so being able to just get that additional value from you. Uh, this is a 10k that's also searchable from Zarbon, so I don't generally like playing this card at four copies uh, and that does help sometimes i also just need a frieza's army out uh, for some of our additional effects and that makes sense too so that's why we're running him at four we also have uh for our two drops we have zarbon knees and uh is also uh, and also frieza frieza is the best one of them all pretty clearly um him being able to just use his effect early uh, you attack into their leader, and then you use your cooler effect to attack over the one drop or something that they popped, uh, that the Frieza rested, rather. So if we go first, uh, which I generally like going first in this deck, turn one, we play like Sorbet. Uh, turn two, we play Frieza to rest whatever they played, and then we can either attack with our leader or with our Sorbet into their five drop, which is pretty nice. Uh, we get that additional value from it, too. And then after that, uh, the best play is we have Raccoon. We use this to take a card from our life. We play Ginyu, which it should be pretty easy to have either the two drop Frieza or the one drop that we played earlier to uh, to still be on the board, which is really nice. So we generally awaken on our third energy. And then if we play Ginyu, we have an additional two energy to either play Birder or, or play uh, Zarbon or even like another Frieza or, or the Knees as, as well. So I think that's a really good start. It means we have four 20k attacks going in and then uh, we get to just be really aggressive after that. So I, I do like the idea of that in this deck. And additionally, um, you might be thinking, oh, why are we playing four copies of Zarbon and two copies of Knees? This one is a 10k counter and generally is better. Uh, I, I just kind of found myself more times than not needing just to uh, to have a card that had Frieza's army. That was a two cost. So I, I went up with a four two split. If you rather just have the four of the knees and two of the Zarbon go for it or like a three three split, go for it. But uh, I think that's that's fine because honestly, Ginyu is such a strong card for this deck. Um, being able to get that additional attack, it's pretty easy to set up. And it just means we're like whittling five Ks out of their, out of their hand and still establishing a card on the board. So it's very good. All right, uh, we are playing two of the three drops just because sometimes it comes up. We can restand this with cooler effect if we need to, and it can punish Broly for free, like push Broly for free. Uh, it's another 10k counter we can find off our Zarbon, so that's not too bad for us either. Uh, two copies of Birder. Uh, again, it's just a vanilla, but you can play it for free off the Raccoon, so it's like a good alternative card for that, and it's a 10k counter, so we're not too you know upset about that either going into our four drops we have two of the cooler and uh four of the frieza uh honestly this frieza i think is such a good card in this deck being able to attack with it twice by discarding one card is pretty insane if you kind of think about it of like oh well if it was a 30k i'm discarding a 10k counter to make it 40k but i get to do it twice so 
it it works really well with this leader uh, you get to be very aggressive with it and then you can just like discard a card on your opponent's turn using their activate main and then you get to restand it and then you get to attack with it twice again on the next turn so uh, if they don't have hard removal for this guy uh, it's very good for uh, staying around and uh, I think he, he's what really makes Cooler uh, kind of exist as a leader. So uh, we also have the four drop Cooler. This one is kind of like iffy. It depends on what matchup you're playing against. Um, if you are playing against something like uh, blue or like against other yellow decks, this card comes in pretty handy because they usually have a lot of two drops out that you get to interact with. Um, not having a counter cost is kind of rough, uh, but being able to attack with it twice and get rid of two cards on the board is good. Uh, this was originally when it was released in the client, uh, not working correctly, but it has been fixed which is nice to see too uh so that that's something because it wasn't able to originally target rested cards even though that it can be based off the rules but there we go so i like cooler at like two copies you can bump up to three i think four is definitely too many though uh so kind of go from there uh, and then our top end we do have three copies of golden frieza we don't get to restand them with our leader effect but honestly i found that i found this card enough times that three was a good number for it if you want to go to four go for it especially since we don't really mind having cards without counter as much since we get to discard them from our leader effect as is so i think that is pretty important for you so i think that golden frieza is really nice and helps us out too and then three copies of supernova so uh this this card's nice for like trying to finish the game or like stunning one of your opponent's cards uh like the soft removal you get from this is really good especially since with cooler specifically you get to use the effect to untap a card r and energy so you can play something like play four drop frieza on curve and then you get to use supernova to stun one of their cards so sometimes what i do is i play cool um uh, well i have cooler i use the effect of supernova to attack 20k with lead uh do a big 40k swing and then i discard a card from my hand to untap an energy and then i attack with frieza so uh that generally works out pretty good for me being able to stun whatever they had do two 40k swings and uh we do have to lose a couple cards in hand but it's it's very strong and then generally frieza is able to, to live another turn as well which is nice so all in all i think this is just like a really good setup for the deck and you just get a lot of pressure with it as long as you're able to kind of start the uh start the turns early for it so uh, that's kind of it for the deck as, as well. We play four super combos because we need the extra defense, especially since we usually have a kind of tiny hand size compared to a lot of other decks throughout the game. But uh, it works really well. It's really consistent. And uh, let's go to the quick example game. All right, we have the game for you guys here. We're against Marcus Couscous Cantarsi, a god rank player and also a really strong uh, Dragon Ball Super Masters player. He's been playing Dragon Ball for a very long time. I ended up meeting him on ladder for this game specifically, and uh, it was really close. So I wanted to kind of go over it. So it's Cooler versus Frieza. He starts off with a Sorbet on turn one, nothing too crazy. We're going to do the same thing after charging one of our Zarbons, using Sorbet, getting the card draw, and then we're going to attack with our leader with crit into their leader. So being able to do this, uh, you know, he takes it pretty quickly. I think that's pretty uh, sound for this. Uh, Frieza specifically wants to be awakened as soon as possible because it gets so much value from its end of turn effect that it's okay to take the crit damage. They're charging a, a second copy of the three drop Frieza, attacking 15k into our leader. We kind of want to awaken and get that card draw essentially from there as well. They play the two drop Frieza, which is such a good card for this matchup too. They're attacking into us and uh, being able to use that to rest our sorbet and also draw one card from their life and uh, we get a two drop frieza of our own they're attacking 5k to 5k i was thinking about countering out so i could attack into their sorbet but didn't end up end up being worth it and uh, we passed from there so we're at six life right now we're going to charge one of our three two drop freezes we're going to play one of them right now we're going to attack into their Frieza there. And so I'm thinking on this point, you know what? If we don't attack into their Frieza, they are not going to a you know awaken right now, right? So I'm going to kind of pressure down this. I do a 30k into their Frieza. I go another 30k here, and uh, they go to 30, uh, 40k, so double 10ks. And uh, end up kind of paying off in my mind. They're down to two cards in life, and uh, they have to find another self awakener to be able to awaken as itself. So I feel like the amount of pressure that we did was kind of warranted for it. So I kind of want to keep my Frieza around as well. Uh, so we end up doing a 5k combo there to make it 25k. 
and uh, just kind of hope that they don't have a thing to charge or to play to get that life. But they have uh, the good combo. They have Raccoon here, and they're able to use it to take a card from their life and then play a one-drop Ginyu. So it could have been a little bit worse. Could have been a two-drop Ginyu or a Birder, but uh, we were a little bit fortunate that it was just the one-drop Ginyu there. Uh, but they were able to awaken by taking two cards from their life this turn. They're going to use their Ginyu one drop to draw an additional card. They're going to attack into my uh, Frieza. I'm going to actually get out of it. Again, we're going to do a 5k counter, our combo out of it. So we're at 25. And uh, we'll see if they attack with their Raccoon, uh, which I believe they will be. Yeah, they're going to use the Sorbet and then another 5k. So 30 to 20, you know what? I'll take that. If I had a super combo in hand, I probably would have used it to save it. But without that, I'm going to end my turn. And uh, Marcus is going to untap two of those cards, which again is super strong and a reason to, to be back into there. So we're going to play another two drop Frieza because we need to use that to self-awaken. We're going to use its effect to uh, rest their, their Ginyu there. And there we go. Uh, and then we're going to actually do, uh, we're going to awaken because we need more cards in hand. So we're going to go to four life uh, and go to our backside. Uh, since, yeah, we are pretty low in hand size, but we are beating him in hand size, which is pretty good. We're going to discard our card too to restand our two drop Frieza, which means we're going to be able to attack into the Ginyu. And then the when attacking for the two drop Frieza is actually not once per turn. So we're able to rest there. Frieza as well, and then we're going to be able to attack into there. So we're going to attack 20k into 20k, and uh, he actually just lets that go, which is pretty strong for us. So uh, we're going to pass from there, four life apiece, but we've got a couple more cards in hand, and we still have a two drop freeze on our on our side. Uh, he's just going to immediately attack into there. I'm thinking about letting it go, but since we have the four drop Frieza, uh, additional copies, we're just going to save it there too. See what happens. If he plays the cooler, we're kind of in trouble because they do get like the free removal and they definitely do. So uh, a bit of a misplay on my side, but being able to use this to uh, get rid of our two drop Frieza. And I think I'm just going to take this damage too because I don't really want to get out of it. So we go down to three. Uh, we get a 10k counter out of there, a uh, combo from there, which is nice. And then uh, we're going to get back to our turn. They're going to use the Frieza ability to restand the cooler, but we are going to play our one drop Frieza here to be able to get the the rest on the, the cooler there. We're going to play our Frieza. We're going to use it to attack into their cooler. So 40 to 30. They're going to use a 10k, 5k to save it. Very nice. I'm going to discard a card from my hand to restand the Frieza. Going to attack into it again. 40 to 30. They're going to take it. And then I'm going to attack into there. Just 20 to 20. I was thinking about calibrating 10k. Uh, we got the cinematic, which I don't know if I deserved. We're both 20k leaders, but uh, we hit Marcus down to 3 there. Get the, the scene change, and then we're going to pass it back. So only three cards in hand, three cards in life, going to five, so pretty scary. And uh, and real quick, I am going to pause right, right here, uh, and I'm going to show the cards in Marcus's hand, because we were talking about this afterwards, too. He ended up getting the Golden Frieza, uh, which is pretty strong, but he might have... Let me actually check. Did he do top deck that from the... Let me double check this. Uh, something else. So he had the, the Frieza there. Oh, it ends up being on the, this, this side of it. Okay, that, that's why. Uh, so they attack into here, and we're going to use our leader effect, discarding a supernova, to restand our four drop Frieza here, which uh, does help us uh, keep it not only active, so we can potentially attack with it twice, but it also means that their Frieza five drop can't stun this as well. So, uh, though I will say, I'm, I'm going to pause it again real quick. So uh, they are attacking into here uh, just to be able to you know get the pressure for it, but. Uh, Frieza says when attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's rest mode battle cards, and it can't switch to active mode during your opponent's turn. Uh, if if we if he did it the alternate way, we would still be able to discard a card and reactivate this on their turn because the five drop Frieza only prevents it from restanding on my turn. So if I do it on his turn with my leader ability. I'd still be able to uh, to get the restand and get one attack with it, but it would mean that I wouldn't be able. I would could discard a card, but I still wouldn't be able to restand the four drop Frieza. So, just kind of a, a weird ruling for that one. But instead, he just ends up attacking into us, uh, which I am fine with doing because I need some more cards in hand. So we're going to let that happen there, and uh, we're going to go down to one card in life, which is a little bit scary. But uh, we got Raccoon and Ginyu off there, which is pretty pretty nuts. 
uh, for this. So, uh, and then we just happen to top deck the five drop, which is pretty much all we need. So we're going to get some pressure there. We're going to attack 20 into 20. They're going to 5k out of it. All right, pretty good. We're going to attack with our two drop Ginyu uh, after playing it, since we do have two Frieza armies out. So this will be a free 20k attack, which is nice. Just means that, you know, it forces them to have a 5k or they have to quote unquote over counter by using a 10k, which they end up doing. And then uh, with only one card in hand, I'm pretty sure that this four drop freeze is going to be able to hit with it. There we go there. And then uh, we're going to play our five drop here. We're going to use its effect to attack 20 uh, or double strike. And then uh, with the cards that we have in hand, we're able to get to 60k. So even if they had uh, double super combos, they were not going to be able to get out of it. So that's the game for that one. Uh, honestly, one of the tightest matches I've, I've played in this game. Uh, Marcus is a really strong Dragon Ball player, and uh, I appreciate the the back and forth that we had for it. Some, some really unique plays, and I, I think it was a really fun match. So again, I really appreciate it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Again, a little bit weirder, but uh, I, th I think it was worth going over. Thank you again to Marcus for playing. Thank you again to all y'all for watching these videos, and I hope you guys have been enjoying them. Make sure to check out my live streams later in this week, and that's going to be it for me. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.